Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is another Atlantic Tropical update because of course that's really the only main thing right now and of course I tend to focus on the Atlantic and United States regions. Um, the, um, again, this is not posted exactly earlier but this should be posted around an hour or 30 minutes earlier than yesterday. Um, the reason is whenever I do these videos I try to wait till the 18th the ensembles finish loading. That's why they're not exactly posted early. But this should be posted at least around 30 minutes to an hour earlier than yesterday. Because yesterday was posted around 10 p.m. Anyway, let's get started. Moving on. Uh, we have the National Hurricane Center graphic pulled up. So first of all, we have disturbance to a 20% chance of formation in the next five days, 10% chance in the next 48 hours. Environmental conditions could support some slow development of the system through early next week. Um, as it moves westward and models have kind of been dropping that a bit. Near the windward island, a trough of low pressure located over the eastern Caribbean Sea is producing minimal shower and centers from activity. This uh, system is several is is ex sorry, sorry. This system is expected to move westward at about fifteen miles an hour during the next several days. Sorry about that mess up there just now when reading. But anyway, and environmental conditions could become more conductive for slow development when it moves across the central and western Caribbean Sea by early next week. The percent chance in the next five days, twenty percent chance. And well, zero percent chance in the next two days, twenty percent chance in the next five days. Again, sorry about that reading mess up. Anyway, moving on from that, uh, let's go to. Uh, it's not an invest. Yeah, I thought it would be. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're still gonna stay on this website because, um, I'm not gonna show the sea surface temperatures or anything because I showed that in the previous videos. We're gonna go to the ECMWF to skip to the end, where they show this hitting the Leeward Islands. I don't think it's strong enough to show other parameters. If it gets stronger, I will and uh, show other parameters for this. So that's the current system. It just shows it going west. And by current system, I mean current. Invest. Not in, it's only, oh, soon going to be an invest. ECMWF definitely shows the most support for it. And with the other system coming up. And then we have this. Canadian model has not shown anything. And again, this is only going to be focusing on the Atlantic. Now, um... By the way, for a lot of you oh, some other YouTubers are saying, well, this is this season might not be very active. I've seen that. This is not an inactive season. This is a similar to 2019. It might be a little behind 2019, but either way, 2019 was still very active, even in the new climatology standards. So we are still on track for a very active season. That's a little off topic, but I just don't want people to mislead in that there won't be any hurricanes. This is still going to most likely be a very active season. But a hurricane season update will be in another video. Anyway, we go into the Caribbean. Uh, well, first let's show you the weak eastern Atlantic system, which I'm not going to show any parameters for because I believe it's too weak. Kills it. Kills it. Just kills it. I told you guys been killing it even if it wasn't killing it that is not going to be the main part even if it wasn't killing it uh the the uh, area in the um main development region would not be the main feature the gfs is killing it whether it's killing it or not i'm not focusing on that in the video well i am focusing on it but like that won't be the main feature like uh, two videos ago, the main feature will be the system hitting land as that is starting to be shown up again. Anyway, if we go a little bit into the future, we do see the low for the Caribbean. This is that actual low. It has some trouble, but goes over Cuba with some heavy rain rates and it hits Mexico, Texas border. I feel like the Gulf of Mexico would be a little better when showing that. To show impacts, we are going to go to the Caribbean region first. We're going to use... Um, I'm going to use the, the 10M wind for sustained winds and 10... M wind gust for wind gust. The reason is in the past few runs, I believe it's been a little more accurate with these parameters. Usually I would use A50 MB for wind gust because it's still very accurate, even if that I'm not using it in this video. I'm just saying it's been a lit these parameters have been a little more accurate. 
Um, usually they're not, they're inaccurate, but usually I'll still use a fifty MB. A fifty MB is still very accurate for one guess. But anyway, ten M wins knots. Also, its default is usually knots. But moving on, we do see around sustained winds of forty knots here, and then it we're getting hurricane not hurricane force yet, but fifty knots nine eighty four. And then we're getting up to 60 knots here. Again, now, still very accurate. I would not trust this at all, mainly for the reason that a 952 millibar system will never only have 60 knots. I would read this as like maybe 100 knots, possibly. Sustain. For this, I would say these, uh, the sustained winds may be 80 to 100, 110 knots, possibly. Very big range. There are 30 knot range, but there's no way this is only 60 knots. Parameter is still not that accurate. Wind gusts, which are sadly in kilometers an hour. I hate kilometers an hour. And the reason is they show very high numbers for not that high wind speeds compared to miles an hour. I'm used to miles an hour and knots. Anyway, moving on from that. Sorry about that. Oh, off topic. But we do see around 61 kilometers an hour wind gusts. And it's moving through the Gulf here. And before we do that, uh, before we show the other impacts... I am going to switch to the South Texas region. Show the wind guys coming through. Because I already showed sustained winds here because those were knots. Uh, but I'll show, um, and I'm not going to show it again since I already showed knots a bit ago. Because that's default knots and that would uh, add more time. And anyway, moving on from that, we do see, move on a bit, we do see around... 98 gusts, I would say. Probably more than that. And then it moves on. I would say more than 98 gusts. Um, anyway, let's go back to the Caribbean. We're now going to look at the rainfall. Always, in my opinion, guys, always use 24-hour rainfall. It is usually the most accurate. It shows you rainfall per day, which most National Weather Service offices and most weather agencies use 24-hour rainfall when talking with tropical cyclones most websites only show 24-hour or total and total is inaccurate for far out systems in my opinion 24-hour is always the best 70 um 72 hour is a little too far and 48 hours a little too far especially if the system's moving fast that's a little usually too big of a range 120 hours definitely too big of a range three hours too small of a range and we're moving on from that Let's see the 24 hour. We're seeing around 100 millimeters of rain. Pretty good. And then it starts moving towards Texas uh, and the Mexico border, which we are going to quickly switch to the southern Texas region there. And um, that's total. Uh, that's total, which I'm not going to use because, like I said, for these far. It's not exactly extremely far out, but it's too far out to show. I, see, I believe. 48 hour, this system moving a little too fast. Most systems move a little too fast for 48 hour precipitation. But I feel like uh, total precipitation is still a little too far. But we're seeing 10 inches there. And I'm going to switch back to the Gulf of Mexico so you can see the coast. We're getting up to 400 milliliters. And we see another system coming through there. Anyway, now time for the ensembles. Uh, G-E-F-S, Tropical Atlantic. Actually, you know, I got a better idea to get there faster. Let's go to the G-E-F-S, Tropical Atlantic. We can just open it directly from here. And let's open it. We do see, if we do see the Caribbean system, and then we see some systems hitting land there, probably the Caribbean system just later, and then very few, a, a couple ensembles, which you can see here, maybe 10 are showing a very strong system, but like all the other 20, 21 ensembles not really showing anything else. Um, EPS. We're going to have to go to 12Z, of course. Uh, they do show the Caribbean system, Caribbean system, but sorry for the mispronouncing, mispronunciation. I definitely pronounced that wrong. Moving on, we do see, uh, they do show the MDR system hitting the Bahamas. 
and then they going out to see. A50 MB wins, win control. Very good for win gust. I think I'm going to stick to A50 MB because those win gusts still were a little t very low on Z. Pivotal weather. weather. And pronunciation is how you pronounce it. Pronunciation for earlier. That's how you pronounce it. Definitely. Sorry of any stuttering or mispronunciation. Pronunciations, that's how you say it, pronunciations. I like to, guys, I like to be a little silly in my videos because most of these YouTubers are professional. Nothing wrong with professional, but I like making you guys laugh a bit. Anyway, 127, not landfall, wind gusts, not sustained. And then we had those other two systems going out to sea. I guess I'm going to show 24-hour rainfall if it shows, if that's an option here. See, that this, real, this only shows 24-hour rainfall. Uh-oh. Petersburg, Petersburg, Illinois. I have on weather. Not in Illinois. Or am I? Anyway, we do see. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to use 24 hour rainfall. This is not. This is uh, horrible. This is definitely horrible. No, no, we're not doing that. That is horrible info. Don't, don't, do not use rainfall for ensembles. That is horrible. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. No offense, but still. Sorry for the Petersburg, Illinois, uh, um, notification. There, I have some random weather notifications from random cities around the U.S. And sorry for that TikTok notification. Anyway, they don't really show anything here either, except those out to sea systems. But it does show it hitting land. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, one more thing. Uh, ECMWF cyclones and GFS cyclones, KMA, UKMET. And now that I saw that KMA stick, we're going to go to KMA quickly. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Extra extra info. We're going to the Korea KMA. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That is Southwest Atlantic. Tenet wins. Korean KMA. What the heck you showing here? You see, usually that'd be turning. About now. It's not really turning. It's turning just straight. It's not turning up. It's unusual. Katrina kind of but yeah anyway sorry for all of the um weather notifications of the cities I have set up around the U.S. sorry about the TikTok notifications sorry about everything about that in fact uh sorry about the stuttering sorry about the mispronunciations I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye